Welcome to the Daily Extra for Wednesday, June 2nd. And for today's Daily Extra, we sat down via Skype with Chris Wondolowski, San Jose forward, who's having a really tremendous season. Yeah, Chris Wondolowski, a player with five goals on the year. And to me, he's the symbol of the new earthquakes. Mm -hmm. uh, all the fight, all the spirit in this team. He's a local boy, but who interestingly enough told us that if he came out of school a year later when San Jose relocated to Houston, he probably wouldn't be in the league. He got picked via tryouts, local tryouts that they did up there. But um, uh, he's, he's, again, uh, one of the most important pillars, I think, of this Quakes team uh, that surprised so many. Yeah, and he really made a name for himself for Houston in the Reserve League. Um, so, you know, it shows that, that you can kind of work your way up. Obviously, the Reserve League uh, on hiatus now, but we expect it to come back uh, to, in some form shortly. But let's hear what Chris Wondolowski had to say. I think we have a very good state of mind going into this. Uh, obviously, Columbus is a very good team, and uh, they, you know, are going to bring their best and uh, coming off a tough loss against LA um, they had a lot of chances and a lot of the play but um, LA has been in good form but uh, I feel that we uh, need to rebound after Saturday's game and I think that we're going to uh, do well I think we came out a little flat uh, the first uh, first half especially um, you know and especially whenever you go down we had a little miscommunication miscommunication um, that led to the goal and uh, whenever you have that and you're trying to press press for a game especially in this league it makes it very tough and uh, you know they uh, credit to Toronto they played a great game and uh, came in here but uh, I think a little bit or definitely it was on us and uh, how we started the game which uh, I think we're gonna write. Uh, I would say that we have done a lot better than what's been expected um, of other people but in our minds I think that we're just hitting stride right now and uh, doing exactly what we expected. We came into the preseason expecting to uh, be here. I mean, you know, it was the 24 guys and the coaching staff that expected it. Expected it. Uh, no one else really did. But, um, you know, this is where we thought we should be and could be. And uh, it's right where we want to be. And we, we think that we can uh, keep keep going and keep climbing the ladder. That's always a dream. Uh, to be honest, I think uh, Coach Bradley did a great job in picking the team. Um, uh, a friend of Brian Ching, I wish he was on it, but uh, no problem there. And I think that, uh, you know, I think that we have a great squad going into uh, South Africa, and I, I have high expectations for them. Uh, one day I hope that I can uh, maybe help out any way I can. All, all I can do is just try to go out there and produce as much as I can. And uh, if it would take in three, four, seven goals, whatever it would take, uh, I wish I could, and I wish I can hope to uh, continue to produce. So, that can uh, maybe be on the radar in the future. There's uh, a lot of perks. Um, one's the weather. The weather is uh, amazing here, and uh, I've always loved California weather. It uh, doesn't quite compare with uh, the Houston heat, and so uh, I like that. Um, you know, I get to go home for uh, family meals. Went home for Memorial Day barbecue uh, the other day, and uh, got to see get to see the family all the time. Uh, get to see my parents, and. Um, you know, it's just always a good time here. You get to uh, experience that. I got to, you know, seeing them in the crowd every every game. They come to all the games, uh, you know, and uh, I believe uh, after one goal, I was able to uh, ran over there and uh, give my dad a hug. So that was pretty cool.